call to me in order, please? Call the roll. <laughs> we ain't mad at you. In a minute, we will. <laughs> Mrs. Escalante. Here. Mr. Monk. Here. Mr. Rickman. Here. Mr. Voorhees. Here. Mrs. Walker. Here. A quorum has been established. Uh, next on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <sighs> Next on the agenda is citizens' comments. Uh, this is the portion of the meeting where you, the citizens, can address the board with your questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, be mindful that you have three minutes by which to make your inquiries or your statements. Also be mindful that we ask that you, uh, you stand to the mic and state your name and address. And last but not least, I ask that you address all comments to the chair. The agenda is now open for citizens' comments. My name is Mary Campbell. I'm the Mount Clemens Education Association Union President. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Glenn Voorhees on behalf of the teachers and the community and the students of Mount Clemens um, for the wonderful job you have done. We have, as the teachers, have appreciated your support and your knowledge of the sacrifices that we have made financially and with our time and our efforts to help improve this district as much as you have helped improve this district. I also would like to say I'm quite happy to be the first one to say once a bather, always a bather tonight to you. So <laughs> since I'm a bather, and I hope I can be a bather as long as you are. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of stole your thunder there. The floor. <laughs> <laughs> Agenda is still open for citizens' comments. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Agenda is still open for citizens' comments. Last final time for citizens' comments. Seeing or hearing none. Um, Madam Superintendent, you have an announcement before we move to continue with the agenda? Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. President. I'd just like to introduce uh, Chris Vincent and his team from SFE. They're a new food service vendor in the area, and they just wanted to come tonight. This was the um, last meeting of the year, and they just wanted to come and say hello and um, give us a couple samples of their product. So, Mr. Vincent, if you uh, have anything you'd like to say. But that is his team, and we thank you so much for the beautiful display, the delicious food, so we can't wait to tear into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for having us. We are SFE, Southwest Food Service Excellence, food service management company. And that's not all we do. We bring that culinary experience to the lunchroom. We care about child nutrition, and that's all we do. K-12 Child Nutrition. So come over, ask us any questions if you like, and we'll share with you what we are and what we're all about. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> For the record, it looks great. Next on the agenda is the consent agenda. Under the consent agenda, the approval <coughs> of the minutes from the November 21st, 2018 regular meeting and the December 20, the December 10th, 2018 workshop minutes. That's what I was saying. Mr. Chairman, uh, I will move to approve the minutes of the November 21st regular meeting and the December 10th workshop. Moved by Mr. Voorhees to approve the minutes of the regular meeting, November 21st, 2018, and the workshop, December 10th, 2018. Second. Second by Mr. Monk. Any questions, comments, discussions? Seeing or hearing none, call the roll, please. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mrs. Escalante? Yes. Mrs. Walker? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> Next, action item, item six, uh, business committee, A, approval of bills for payment. 
Ms. Walker. Oh, or Ms. Superintendent. Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> Step <Four> up. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the food. <laughs> <laughs> I, me and you on the same line right now. So if they ain't going to do it, I'm going to move the motion. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the um, Finance Committee did meet on Tuesday. I forget what the, was that, the 11th? Thank you. We did meet on um, Tuesday, the 11th, and uh, looked over the bills for payment, and there was nothing out of the ordinary, and but they did look through. Um, you know, for um, make sure everything was in order, and it was found to be true. Mm -hmm. So we would ask that the board would approve uh, the bills for payment at this time. Uh, chair would entertain a motion uh, relative to agenda item six, uh, business committee bills for approval of bills for payment. So moved. Moved by Ms. Escalante. Support. Second by Ms. Walker. Any questions, comments, discussion on the motion on the floor? Hearing or seeing none, call the roll, please. Ms. Escalante? Yes. Ms. Walker? Yes. Mr. Voorhees? Yes. Dr. McFadden? Yes. Mr. Monk? Yes. Mr. Rickman? Yes, motion carries. I just uh, real quick, um, <clears throat> if, to the board, if you see that um, the agenda has been um, formatted differently is because trying something different um, when we have items that are on the agenda that have gone through the committees um, and then we at the end after we talked about stuff and moved on items later on we have the committee reports and the committee will say well we've already acted on what we met on so instead of going through that uh, the when the item comes that it comes through that committee then I'm looking to the committee to Lead, uh, show some leadership on, on that particular agenda item and move that item forward. <coughs> uh, informational items, items <coughs> item seven, also business committee. Uh, this was reviewed at the co business committee. Uh, A, open purchase order listing. Uh, it's listed uh, in your packet. And are there any questions about the open purchase order listings? And as you stated, the committee did uh, go through, and nothing was found to be out of the ordinary. But we will entertain questions. Seeing no questions, this is an informational item, so there's no action needed. Item B, contract, contract listings. And again, same um, with the contract listings. This is the report that we um, add to the agenda each month. Um, just for you to review and see what is um, coming up that may be uh, expiring and nothing had changed from the prior year. Any questions regarding the contract listings? And I do yes. need to correct that. We do have Edger staff now as opposed to that uh, they took over the business uh, from PESG. It has been a very smooth transition. Uh, staff, <coughs> is, our contractor staff is very pleased that when they do make a phone call, they are shocked that they get a phone call within the hour, 90% of the time. Um, occasionally, they've gone to the next day, but they said they never had such quick response. And an actual person answered the phone as opposed to going through a loop. So we're very pleased with that transition, and uh, we're partnering very well with uh, Edu staff. So it's been a very clean, smooth transition. Mr. Monk. Uh, thank you. Uh, is it pretty much the same contract or a little different, you save a little money or same? No, it's the same thing, because uh, usually with the contract houses, they have the same rate right. as far as that go, and, uh, but the response time is, customer service is huge. So, that, so, so our employees are getting answered to the questions? Yes, Good. yes. Good. And they've been very responsive. They've um, come out, I think, a couple of days and met with staff and answered any of the questions or you can imagine how reluctant our staff was especially uh, with the experience that they had before and so they were very um, pessimistic and um, not a true believer but since they've talked with them and they have had all of their questions answered nothing but positive comments so they are pleased okay any additional questions, comments? My question was just, you know, the, the, the payroll, the, the, you know, yeah. we had that 
kind of a period in there where people didn't get their money and right. you know, has that all been ironed out I take it their policy is that um, you get paid um, the week at following so you're not waiting a month um, before your paycheck is one week so the they're paid weekly no, it's They're paid, paid every two weeks. Every two but weeks, but only a week. Okay. Right. You, you see their pay on, a, on that third week. Yes. Gotcha. So that's what, that's what? Time she saw on Friday, yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. and the following Friday, they're paid. So that's good. They're very, people are. It's real good, actually. Pleased. And they use also a pay card. So they're loading okay. pay cards for some mm -hmm. of the folks, and um, a number of them like that feature. Perfect. As opposed to, you know, paper checks or even direct deposit. Perfect. like the pay cards. So this has really been a great partnership thus far. Yep. Uh, any questions that we've had, they've been very responsive and um, very open about um, the way their operation work and even giving uh, some ease to the folks with the questions that they had because again, we've had um, not so great experiences the last couple of years with uh, PESG. Okay. So it has been a welcome change. Good. <laughs> Any additional questions, comments? Agenda item eight, superintendent's comments. Thank you, thank you. I am um, very much looking forward to our students having a relaxed next couple of weeks. Um, their last day is, oh, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. it's tomorrow, so they'll be enjoying a wonderful um, break holiday break so wish all of our families and students a very safe merry happy holiday season get some rest um, have fun with family and friends and um, share your love we do have a letter that uh, in your packet that we have shared with um, that came from North Broadway uh, Church of Christ just wanted to say thank you to the board members and to the district um, for a hand uh, helping them during their um, time of need with the passing of their um, long-term or long-time um, pastor, um, Dr. James E. Thompson. Uh, they were very pleased with uh, the responses and the assistance that they got from our custodial staff. They said everyone was wonderful and they just wanted to make sure that they sent a letter thanking uh, this board uh, for, um, you know, being available to them to help them through this time. So you do have a letter in your packet. You'll also see the uh, attendance report. That's the one that has the um, paper clip on it. You'll see one from uh, King, which was preschool. Then the next set uh, that's attached is um, Seminole. And then the last piece is from uh, the secondary complex. So they have it laid out um, each how uh, they responded to each incident and the number of incidents that um, had occurred thus far. That's what that one pack is. Also, I just wanted to give you an um, update on lame duck. We did get some information uh, from our or middle cities and they're just sharing uh, some of the bills that are getting rushed through, uh, con through um, the legislature and they want us to uh, you know, pay attention to the different bills that are coming up. They, unfortunately, this is a time of year that there's a lot of uh, bills coming at all of our uh, legislatures and they really don't have a real good time to read through all of them. So, and that's why I've called Lane Duck because, you know, so they're like doing Glenn. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 We're lame today. Quack, quack. <laughs> Still got power. You made one motion. That's right. <laughs> you know it's nothing but love. It. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, you have a copy of um, their comments concerning each of those. And then also tomorrow uh, we are doing our, uh, it's, professional development day since the half day for the students so the, our teachers and staff will be engaged in um, that process and we're talking about uh, the blueprint so we're inviting you if you want to stop by we will be having lunch I believe it starts at 1130 
but it will be over here in the um, high school cafeteria. So if you are available um, to stop by tomorrow, please do so. We welcome you. Um, and the other one, <laughs> Mr. Voorhees. It doesn't seem like it's been four years, mm -hmm. but I greatly re appreciate and respect you as a leader, you as a member of this board and this community. You will be greatly lost. Um, it, um, I know you have other things that you need to do with your family, and we appreciate that. But I greatly appreciate the time that you've spent here, um, that um, countless hours that you've had to put in, you know, um, doing this work. As we all know, it's unpaid work, but you are dedicated to this school district and to this community. So for that, I greatly appreciate you, and I hope that you won't um, be out of touch, even though you might be out of sight, but not out of touch. So thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you, Teresa. And that's my comments. Thanks, sure. Yeah. Thank that's you, Mom. Item 9, committee reports. Dr. McFadden, Athletic Ad Hoc Committee. We didn't have a meeting this last month. Uh, we had a, a detailed meeting Monday night with curriculum. We, we had a, a big talk, a long talk about a whole lot of issues. So that evening, we didn't bring up much in athletics, and we're going to be following that in the new year. Yes. Any questions of the chair? You can Thank you, Dr. McVad. Mr. Lindenberg, no report. You must be hoarse tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lindenberg. <laughs> <coughs> curriculum personnel committee once again mr president uh the monday uh last monday our curriculum personnel meeting usually falls on tuesday last monday we had a uh, workshop of the whole we discussed a lot of issues dealing with personnel and curriculum so there was no need to have a meeting the next day um i, I mean everybody was here that night if anyone got anything to say want to chime in please i don't know let me be the one to hog the mic but um, most issues that we talked about was well received, but the superintendent is still doing research on a lot of this, a lot of stuff we talked about. We talked talk about some things with policy and um, things with legal. So once we get that information, then we can move further with the other issues <coughs> that we want to talk about. Mr. Monk, did I forget anything? Mr. Royce? I want to keep that shut. Ladies? No, I think you're good. All right. Any questions? Thank you, Dr. McFadden. There was no meeting of the Educational Foundation, and I'll take the next one, E, <coughs> legislative meeting. Um, there was a legislative meeting, but it was <coughs> the same night that we had our workshop, um, so therefore I was unable to go. But I know that they, there was going to be discussion about pending legislation that's gonna, that was going to be hurried uh, through the lame duck session. Um, and one of those, I don't, I don't have the bill, bill number, but it was dealing with um, giving school districts a letter grade, A through F. Um, and then the other one was about the state appoint, the, the point appointing a 13-member educational commission uh, who will take over the responsibility uh, and sort of do, like, do, the work that the State Board of Education is currently doing. I know those were um, uh, two bills that were being uh, ramrodded through uh, the lame duck session. I was on uh, Facebook today and I think I read something where the, uh, the letter grade um, distinction was passed mm -hmm. uh, and the governor has signed that uh, into law. I'm not sure about what's happening with the 13 member educational commission but I know the letter grade uh, assessment uh, was passed and signed into law uh, by the governor did they did the soups ever talk anything about that or? Um, the A through F that's um, house bill number 5526 that one and, and of course they, we don't think that's the appropriate thing to do um, and the other one was about the marijuana and not having that be on school property. 
So we would want to treat that the same as any other drug right. or um, you know, alcohol mm -hmm. and tobacco. Um, yes, yes. Any questions? Oh, there was one more about the ACA, uh, the Affordable um, Health Care yes. Act. The other thing on that one was um, even though it was one of the um, judges found that to be unconstitutional, nothing has changed as far as what we are supposed to do. So until they come to some conclusion uh, at, the, at the Supreme Court level, we will continue business as usual. I just want to make sure everyone understood that, that they're not immediately losing their health care. Um, whatever you had in place will continue to be in place. Mr. Monk, policy. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we did, we uh, postponed our meetings due to uh, superintendent working on the budget. Um, we'll take up um, the, uh, we talked a little bit, we had some dialogue on um, the new um, uniform um, policy that we're looking at. So we'll take everything up uh, next month and we'll have a report then. Thank you. Any questions of the chair? Item 10, board comments. Ms. Escalante, we'll start with you tonight. Every board meeting I start. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to take a little bit longer, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time we meet again, the year will have come to a close. We'll be starting a new year. And I would like to say that we've accomplished a lot in 2018. There has been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears poured into 2018. And I can't take the credit, but I can speak as a witness to, do, to those that have made things happen. And so I want to send all of my colleagues off um, with some of my personal thoughts about each of you as you enter into 2019. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to put my glasses on for this. That's right. Glenn, I'm going to start with you. Remember, I'm last. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going in order. So you're third. I get the mic last. I know. Yeah. That could be yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn, I just want to say that you are a kind, humble, insightful <laughs> man. You are welcoming and you have a warm heart and you'll be missed. Um, <coughs> I remember coming on the board knew you always made me feel comfortable and it's intimidating getting up here with all of these guys but we have a, a new um, female board member joining us in January so now it's an even number <laughs> well we have Teresa too so technically you guys are outnumbered so but I just want to say that it's been an, an honor and a privilege to serve with you for for two years and um, I know you ser served for four but I'm going into my third year can't believe it's been almost three um, and it's you're going to be missed. You really are. And I wish you the best. I wish you many blessings. And I, I hope that you'll pop in and visit once in a while and show yourself. <laughs> Doc. Earl will stop me at the door. He's I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say that you are level-headed, you are focused, you are encouraging, and you are committed. And I appreciate that example from you, sitting here serving with you. So thank you for that. Boy, sure, sure, and sweet to the point. You've been on this board since go, I was a student. Go, go hey. <laughs> no, <laughs> you've been on this board since I was a student here. Now, I'm not saying you're old or anything like that. Oh, boy. I, I, was, <laughs> I, I was very legally, just legal when I got on the board. Yeah. There you go. Just legal. Uh -huh. But I think that that speaks volumes, um, all jokes aside. And you're committed and you lead. And I appreciate your commitment and your time and your energy and always willing to answer questions. Um, I remember when you called me and welcomed me onto the board when I first got on and, and that meant a lot. So thank you. I'll get back to you. Janine, you are kind and sweet and nurturing and it was um, nice to have a another woman on the board that would kind of like take me under her wing because it was intimidating with the rest of them in the beginning. Um, I enjoy our talks and and, <laughs> and, um, and so I just wanted to say that about you. Jason. Oh Lord. <laughs> you are charismatic, energetic, you have presence and you love life and you love food and you love your community. 
And I appreciate that about you. Thank and you. I enjoy serving on this board with you. Thank you. Teresa, you have taken on a lot this yeah, last year. A lot of obstacles were thrown at you and, um, and your staff. But you persevered and you continued to keep our district on track. And that showed in our audit. And um, I commend you for that. You're a wonderful person inside and out. And I know you don't hear that enough. You take most of the complaints on a daily basis. So I just want you to know that I personally appreciate you. Okay. And then there's someone else sitting out in the audience that I want to recognize too. Um, Mrs. Monk, I see you out there. And I just wanted to say that I see everything that you do for our district. I see your, your love and your compassion and your care for our students. I see you. Um, what you do with the Christmas bags and and just everything that you do it doesn't go unnoticed and I personally want to thank you for that because um, a lot of these kids wouldn't they have hope without somebody like you as an advocate for them so thank you for that okay I'm almost done <laughs> Are you leaving the board or something? No, I'm not. <laughs> I said like in the beginning, I said in the beginning that I wanted to send you all off with positive vibes for 2019. So that's what I'm doing. I guess you could call it a little bit of mutual edification. So thank you all for teaching me and learning with me, encouraging me, and putting your heart and soul into this district. May God bless you all, and as well as your families as we get ready to enter into 2019. God willing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And? Well, I want to say it with you. <laughs> Ms. Walker. All right. They're going to wait to the end to say I, it. I, I, yeah, I moved we'll on all them. say it at the end. I, I moved on. <laughs> Sassy. Glenn, I am going to miss you. It has been a wonderful four years. It really has. You're an outstanding human being. And I, it has been a pleasure and an honor to serve on this board with you and to know you and I'm going to miss that face. But um, family is important, and time with family is important. So, and Earl's gonna do, I thought he was gonna take a picture of the face. Yeah. So that just, to, just to remind you. <laughs> Next board meeting, eat my tents and glad to have you right. Wouldn't that be nice? And um, I wish all of our families and our students a very Merry Christmas. I wish you many blessings and, and just an outstanding time off with your family. Make lots of memories, eat lots of good food, and enjoy being together. And as a board, I can't imagine being on a board with any finer group of people. I love the time spent with you. I have learned tons from you, and I enjoy every minute I spend with you. So those are my comments. Thank you, Ms. Walker. Mr. Monk. Thank you, Ms. President. Um, well, a lot's been said already. Um, <laughs> I'd just like to take this opportunity to uh, wish all of our district employees, um, our students, families of our students, a uh, very happy holiday. Um, take some time, enjoy your family, enjoy some food, because I'm getting ready to when we <laughs> start over here. <laughs> so we're going to start that early. Um, but definitely, you know, um, just enjoy each other um, and get some rest, and we'll see everybody um, next year next in year. January. Um, my brother <laughs> from another mother. <laughs> um, we came on here together. Yes, we did. Me and you, two amigos. <laughs> 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 um, I think I said mostly what I said last meeting, but. Um, it goes without saying, I am looking forward to your retirement because what a lot of my board, fellow board members don't know that we gather, we used to gather once a week. Yes, we did. <laughs> so now we can get back to gathering once a week. <laughs> That's right. So let the wife and the daughters know I'm, I'm coming for the homemade brownies and the cookies, <laughs> you know, and a little bit of spirit. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to spending um, time um, together um, as we both head off and do what we do. But, you know, you are a fantastic young man. Um, <laughs> You know, as I said, you, you have you have the wisdom, you have the you have the uh, charismatic, but all but one thing that I think when I always 
see you is that you are such a calm spirit. I don't think I've ever seen you get mad. I'm serious. No. Yes, I did. Don't, don't talk to the <laughs> wife. <laughs> but, you know, um, I'm going to miss you, but I'm going to see you. So enjoy. Okay? You did a great job. You know, you brought a lot of energy to this board. Um, you was part of getting a lot of things accomplished. Um, so enjoy, my friend. Um, I know the wife is looking forward. Um, now we can go with the Port Austin together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I really, I really, really enjoyed being with you on the board. So, and to my uh, fellow board members, um, thank you for those, for those kind of comments. You know, charismatic. I like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> um, but I want to wish all my board members a uh, happy holidays. Um, be safe. Again, enjoy y'all family. It's been a pleasure serving with y'all. I'm looking forward to the next four years. I'm looking forward to serving on the board with our new board member. Uh, she said I look different from last time. So, uh, okay. <laughs> More charismatic. Right. Yes. Right. 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 It's, it's so, the part. No, 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 I enjoy it. You know, and I'm glad my wife. I, it's the part. Is that what it is? It's the part. I'm glad my wife is here so she can see, so she can understand where, you know, where I get all that. <laughs> but those are my comments. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monk. <laughs> Dr. McFadden. You know, I can never get enough of Mr. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yield your time to no, the no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't speak that much anyway. I'm going to be quick, short. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, happy holidays to all my board members. Um, wish happiness and strength and wealth for the next season. But I'm going to jump over to Glenn. You know, a lot of people don't see things behind the scenes. You know, I remember the time we was at a board meeting or a workshop and Glenn was talking about cornbread and collard greens. <laughs> so That's right. You know, and, and he makes he makes it fun. So he's serious, but at the same time you, you take things into perspective. And I wanna say thank you for that. I'm not gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna say until we see each other again in Myers or something like that. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But definitely and you do have power to, you know, move maneuver you know, make a motion. You can make a motion probably like a German or something. Yes. Right. yes. <laughs> but other than that, I want to say thank you to the board members and thank you to the school district and thank you to Mr. Glenn Voorhees. Thank you. Mr. Voorhees. Well, this is this is tough. Um, you had a whole year. Yeah, to get yeah I know. I know. <laughs> but you know what? I I I learned from uh, I learned from Dave. Keep it short and sweet. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> something, right. something something like that. It, you know, I may have paraphrased it a little bit, but um, it has been truly, truly an honor and a privilege to to sit on this board of education. It it um, the work is so important, and you know we we do it not for ourselves. We do it for those students, and when I see them in the hallway. I know that we've done a great job. We have a lot of work to do, but we've done a lot of work. And to when when I was over in Jason's office and we talked about running and and um, we wanted to make sure that this school district uh, stayed open and and we certainly uh, worked at that collectively, all of us together. One thing, you know, Teresa, I must say that, um, you know, I was able to work on finance from the day we came on the board, and you were an intricate part of that. And we have taken the deficit from some $2.5 million down to, if we didn't have this last business in here, we would have had $18,000. I think that's remarkable. That is a, that is a true achievement I don't think there's too many districts that can can talk about that I won't go around and talk about everybody but you know I'm gonna miss everybody and um, we uh, we worked collectively and I don't think that there was if we had a disagreement disagree it was you know we hashed it out here and we were done and we walked out of here and we we were together mm -hmm. and uh, again for the betterment of the district I, uh, Teresa, my best of luck to you. You'll do a great job. 
because you're a bather. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, Mrs. Monk, truly, you do a tremendous job, and and you don't get enough thanks for it. Yeah. Um, once again, another bather. <laughs> and with that, for the last time, <clears throat> as an official of this school board, once a bather, always, always a bather. <laughs> I should have went first, but it's always <laughs> tough going like last. To move to adjourn. <laughs> I'd like to but, move to adjourn. But, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't make that move. You, you, yeah. you, were, you <laughs> chair didn't recognize you. Yeah. I tried, everybody. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, I'd like to um, echo some of the same comments that have been made prior to me. Uh, to our students, enjoy your time off, because I know you, you've been waiting for this. <laughs> Um, and I know you're going to drive your parents crazy, um, being at home all the time, hogging the TV, <laughs> whatever you do, you know, the games and whatever, but um, enjoy your time off to our staff. Uh, Well-deserved, uh, needed uh, break, uh, and I hope you uh, do something fun, enjoy yourself, even if it's just sitting at home in the lazy boy chair. Um, Sometimes that can be fun, and, that, and that's what you need to, <laughs> yeah. to re-energize and re rejuvenate yourself uh, because we're only halfway through. Uh, and we still um, have much work to do in, in, the, in the upcoming year uh, to our, our winter sports teams um, that are currently um, uh, engaged in competition. Uh, good luck to you. Um, there are some issues uh, with some students who are not dedicating themselves uh, to the whole concept of the team. And I understand there were some folks that, um, students that were ineligible. I hope you take this time to uh, get eligible uh, to, to help out your team because your team needs you. Um, and being ineligible is not the way to support the team. Or to uh, or to support yourself. Um, those, those are uh, your your student athletes, uh, and that student comes first, uh, and that's why those students who are not eligible are not uh, participating right now. There are other school districts that will allow students to participate with a minuscule uh, grade point average. But this district dares to challenge students by making them have maintain a, a 2.0. Uh, Cumulative, cumulative, excuse me, uh, grade point average, and um, uh, we, we're sticking to that. And uh, for those students, uh, step up your game so you can step in the game. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Voorhees, I recall maybe a little over four years ago, we, it was Myers, <laughs> we had a conversation, <laughs> and um, I had, um, learned that he was um, considering running for the board. And what suggestions uh, would I pro could I give him um, in doing that? And I share with him, the easy part is getting elected. All you have to do is convince more people to support you than to support the people that are running against you. That's the easy part. The hard part is when you get on this side of the table, things always seem different when you're not accountable and responsible for the decisions that are being made when you're on the other side of the table. I also share with you, Glenn, if you get on this board, you're going to have friends that will no longer be your friends um, because they will not uh, like the decisions uh, that you will make and the decisions that you make are based on more information than, the, than anybody else has. And so that's why you make the decision. I said I was real big with team. Um, everybody on the board is a collective uh, team of eight. Uh, we come to the board a table. We bring our best efforts. We bring the best information. Uh, we, we argue our points. Uh, to the point that uh, sometimes it may seem like you, you know, you, you're about to fight somebody. But that's the passion that you bring and the position that you bring to the table. But once the decision is made, 
by the body, that's the decision that everybody walks out of the room doing. And he, had, you asked me, well, what did I believe were the biggest challenge is? And um, four years ago, what I, what I thought was would it be the biggest challenge? And I remember telling you that my goal as a board member uh, would be one, keeping the doors of K-12 open in this district, uh, because for forever we've heard rumors in the universe that Mount Clemens is going to close, Mount Clemens is being absorbed, Mount Clemens is doing this, doing that. Uh, so one, one thing I told you that I, there was always my goal was to keep the doors open, K-12, Mount Clemens independently run by itself with no state intervention. Uh, and the second goal was to eliminate the debt that we had. Uh, New Glenn from his work when he was the treasurer uh, of the city, uh, knew he had a vast uh, financial background. Uh, when, when Glenn was elected to the board, I appointed him to the finance committee because he had an area of expertise that I knew uh, could help the district, and thus uh, we, we selected him, I appointed him to, to that committee, and after, subsequently after that you were elected treasurer, so you're automatically a part. Um, I say all that to that, um, say that coming in as new, uh, there was no new, uh, because once you get sworn in, you have the same, you had the same responsibility as every board member that sat around the table, whether you've been here for two days or been here for 40 years. Uh, <coughs> And you blended into the team. Uh, you brought ideas and your perspective to the table. Uh, your ideas were worth thought out. Your perspectives were your perspectives, and, and, and we respected that. And we worked collaboratively to, as you mentioned earlier, that it was maybe closer to $3 million when you first got on the board to now we're less than a, hundred, a little over $100,000 and you were an integral part of the team and in, in, in assisting this board uh, move in the positive. So for that, uh, we're truly, truly grateful. And I, and I just appreciate the friendship, the camaraderie um, that, we, that we've, we've uh, amassed here on the board. And because the board, I mean, we're like a little family within ourselves because when our back's against the wall and everybody is screaming at us, we all only have ourselves to turn to, and we have to support each other. And, and over the last four years, uh, with you being a part of the team, um, that's what we've done. And I respect and appreciate the sacrifice. A lot of people don't understand uh, the sacrifices that board members do. Uh, it, it's more than coming to a meeting once a month. And I'm pretty sure Mrs. Monk can attest to that. Uh, and any other spouses of, of board members can, can attest to that. Um, it, it's a labor of love. And I often say, um, you know, it's been fun, it's been real, and it's fun, but sometimes it ain't real fun. Uh, because you have to make real life decisions that impact people. And again, some people won't like you because of the decisions that you made. And you, if you, you've carried yourself in an honorable way. And um, this was a testament by the comments that were made prior to me uh, about your service on the board. And so before I, uh, <laughs> you're not choking, I are you? I need, I need, I need, I need an adjustment. I was going to say. <laughs> I'd like to present you with the certificate of appreciation is hereby awarded to Glenn Voorhees, board member of the Mount Clemens Board of Education, recognize your deep appreciation for your leadership an exemplary dedication as a valued member serving the Mount Clemens Community School District, 2014 to 2018, Earl C. Rickman President, Teresa Davis, Superintendent. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I. Oh. Note cards. Drop us a line oh, it's on some note cards. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> All those four-letter adjectives we talk about, you can write them down now. <laughs> Earl, before you finish up, we got something else for you, Glenn. Um, I wasn't finishing about new. <laughs> I knew. I, I heard about the, the other. So go ahead. <laughs> we uh, we at the board um, thought you might. You know, you need to keep warm. Yeah. Uh, in these days, especially at the. Uh, at the uh, football game, so what we did is that we got together and got you something to wear. So, um, 
and it's uh, something that I think you would like. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh. The is. oh so, that's so cool. And it's also got your uh, years oh. of service. That is. So I hope you like that. And on the back, oh. um, it says, once a bather, always a bather. <laughs> Yeah. Right, <laughs> you. Right, it. Right, it. it is super. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you. And this, of course, is from the. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's still, yeah, that's a throwback right there. That's a throwback right there. So, thank you. Thank yes, sir. So yes, much. sir. Would you like to say anything, Mr. Voorhees? <laughs> I'm choked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, this is this is just great. I love it. Now I got to tell the truth. You know they always say tell the truth. Now I got you gonna have to get it back to me because we got to, we got to make an adjustment on that. So. Would you spell something wrong? Yeah, too small. <laughs> yeah, too small. <laughs> Actually, yes, yes, I did. My wife, that's why my wife is here today to contest this. She says, do not put anything out until I spell check it. And she was not at home to spell check it. So I spell everything like it sounds. So, so I just tell you. A bather. Right, right, right. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm keeping this. No, so I, 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 I tell you like I tell my, I tell you like I tell all, all my girls. I believe it. I think it's awesome. I'm keeping it. I love it. I say, Yo, you know what I meant, so I used to tell them all the time. So. But no, I, it'll, I'll correct it. Yeah. No, it's, it's you're not correcting it. I'm keeping it. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's great. Thank you so much. I brought it up. held it up. She's Thank like, you. what is that? <laughs> I said, what's the baby? She's like, no, that's ounce. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you, you got the opportunity to have the last word, Mr. Voorhees. No, I just thank you so much to everybody. It thank is, you for your service. It has been a Great. pleasure. It really has. And, you know, we um, we did put a lot of time in, Earl. You know, we, oh, we yeah. do. Yeah. And, uh, but, it's, it, but it's for the students. It's for the kids of our community. And... Again, once a bather, always a bather. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, those are my comments. The chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Mr. Voorhees. <laughs> Second. Second by Mr. Monk. Questions, comments, discussion on the motion on the floor. Brothers from another mother. Hearing, seeing none. <laughs> call the roll, please. Mr. Voorhees. Yes. Mr. Monk. Yes. Mrs. Es really Escalante. Real yes. Yes. Mrs. Walker. <laughs> yes. Dr. McFadden. Yes. Mr. Rickman. Since this is his last meeting, I think he's sticking around. Yeah, bit, you know. We'll have a special meeting next week about something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Meeting adjourned. Right. Motion carries meeting adjourned at 722 in the a.m. P.m. Excuse me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.